Good morning. Today, uh, Jess and I are going to make some shop stools for out here. Right now we have one that's kind of junky, but uh, so we'll all have one including Sawyer. And uh, we got the top lifted up on the table today because we're going to use a full sheet of plywood, three quarter inch. So uh, I wanted all as, as much room as I could get to fasten it down and secure it well. Um, I got the stools drafted up on VCart Pro. I got to adjust the like some of the joints for the exact thickness of the plywood that I just bought this morning. So uh, we'll get to it, get it down, and start cutting. All right, so I got the joints adjusted for the exact thickness of the plywood and laid out on V carve. So this is kind of so you can see that's what the parts will look like. There's a foot rail and the seat inside the circle trying to make use of all the plywood there um, so we're going to load up the plywood onto the machine and cut it uh, we got the toolpath all uploaded and ready to go so i'm going to zero the machine on that top left corner and get the cutting the first stool out and make sure it all fits together before I cut the other two out um, so okay so I got the tool path uploaded I'm gonna just cut one stool out and uh, dry fit it make sure it all fits before I cut the other two out uh, plywood's pretty expensive so I don't <laughs> waste it but uh, I'm pretty confident that it'll all slide together right so uh, we'll cut this first one out, give it a try, and then I'll cut the other two out. My shop helper finally came out. Here's a preview of kind of how it all goes together. Um, we got to clean up the corners. The end mill is round, so we'll cut a square corner. Um, and for this to pop down over there, it will need to be. Um, same goes for this little bit here, so that it will all lock together tight. Um, so we'll get to that and I think we're gonna put a little like eighth inch round over um, on everything, clean it up, give it some nice, uh, not sharp edges and finish it. Got them all cut out, just cleaning up. Just pretty happy about it. Um, we decided to only do two, just because we don't have much room in here. Uh, we rounded over the edges, softened them up, and then we're gonna shellac them with the shellac that's left over from making the outfeed table on my saw. Alright, 
so I kind of cheated here a little bit. I got this, uh, I ran the round over on the bottom because you won't see it. Um, and that saved me a lot of chiseling so that it would all fit down tight like that. I did clean these corners and then I did the same thing with the round over here. I uh, did just used it. And honestly, probably if I had an eighth inch, this is like a, I think a three eight round over if I had an eighth inch round over bit I probably could have ran it on all the surfaces and never and not chiseled anything so um, I'm probably gonna invest in one if I'm gonna keep doing stuff like this but all right. let's see how it all fits together how I've decided I don't want to glue it together so I'm gonna run a pocket hole screw here on each leg and then one here to hold the foot stool up so uh, get to that and put it together it's gonna be a nice tool. So there we have it, two shop stools. Um, they turned out, that's the first like kind of furniture joint I've done with uh, the machine and I'm pretty happy with that. It's very, it could be a little tighter, but that's probably because I haven't uh, trammed or anything that thing, the machine. So it needs fine calibrated, but uh, anyhow, that's the next project, but you can see how the round over I didn't have to chisel that out because I used the round over to make room for it to slide past each other that worked well and if this was a piece of furniture I was making for somebody I would not have done that but uh, these are shop stools so they're gonna be out here I'll be painting stuff on them and uh, messing them up but uh oh So there's our shop stools. We put a coat of shellac on there so far. Um, it's, we'll see what it's like when it's dry. Um, they're shop stools, so I'm not gonna get too carried away. If it was like going in the house, I'd probably put three or four coats of something on it. Um, but, so. all right, thanks for watching.